A storm is coming to Zoe, and his name is Jack. In the last chapter of One Piece, you learned that Mononosuke's father had been a crew member of Rogers, who also went to Raptel with him. It's revealed that Kaido had assumed that Kaimon and the others had information about the secret history of the world, but Mononosuke's father had never revealed that info to them. It also turns out that the Shogun of the Wano country and Kaido have joined forces and are oppressing its people. I swear, Oda is a genius at setting up arcs. I cannot wait for the next two arcs coming up. A small rebellion has started in Wano, but its army is greatly outmatched by the forces of the Shogun and Kaido. In order to increase their strength, Kainmon and co. left Wano and went into the world to search for people to help them. Their first place to look was Zo. Kainmon asked Luffy and Law to join in the alliance against the Shogun and Kaido, but Luffy refuses at first. Luffy refuses at first because Mononosuke's own helplessness. Mononosuke declares after having a flashback of what happened in Wano that he also wants to beat Kaido and pleads for Luffy's help. In turn, Luffy gladly accepts the alliance with no consent from Law. <laughs> Poor Law, always having to deal with Luffy's crap. Luffy states before he can do anything in the alliance, he needs to get Sanji back. Greatly exaggerating Sanji's strength by saying, oh, he's, he's worth a thousand men. Meanwhile, the minks are celebrating the truce of Inurashi and Neko Mamushi, while Jack and his crew approach Zo. The chapter ends with Jack saying, he will kill the elephant. One Piece Chapter 819 I have to say, it was great. I am really hyped up for the next arcs coming up after this one. Now we got a triple alliance called the Ninja Pirate Mink Alliance, as named by Luffy. Luffy is going to face Big Mom soon, though Luffy says he won't fight her. We all know he will. He can't help it. And now Jack is coming to Zoe and ready to wreck the place. I have to say, I like how we see the loyalness that the rulers of Mink and Kaimon's group had to their deceased lord and the Wano country. They even shout out their objective of freeing Wano in unison. I also like the part with Luffy and Mononosuke, especially when Mononosuke admits his own helplessness. There is a little comedy, like the part where after Luffy refuses to join the alliance, Nami says, yeah, Luffy has a point. We need to set, we need to set, um, our price. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was just like, wow, wait. There's also another part where after Luffy says Sanji's like worth a thousand men or something like that, Zoro says, I'm worth, I'm worth much more than Sanji. He has an ego. He, Zoro has an ego and I love it. Well, that's it for me. If you enjoyed this review, then please comment, rate, and subscribe for more. Thank you.